What's up guys, 915 Mang here Doing a video today, I got a lot of things to talk about But first things first Do you even reef bro? Take a look at the 120 when I first got started I was running the AI Soul Blues Four of them And uh, they did great but I just wanted the full color spectrum I'm glad I s experimented with all kinds of different lights And I took this little video of this Coral Frenzy because I want to say it's really hard for me to target feed the corals with this stuff. So I just pretty much use it as fish food. Also ran out of salt. As you can see, uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel, so to speak. Uh, totally out of salt. And I placed an order for some more reef crystals. Um, I think reef crystals has been working pretty good for me. Number one, because it is cheap. I buy it by the box. And uh, I usually catch a good deal from it online. I have tried other salts. The uh, only other salt that I've used is the uh, Coral Pro uh, Red Sea Salt. And I did like it, but it was just too expensive for me. Um, because uh, considering the amount of water changes that I was doing. Um, my skimmer is doing pretty good. I'm glad I caught it. I really haven't been checking up on it. Other than uh, just to see where the water level is. My mangroves, I used to have a whole bunch of mangroves, but I am only have two alive. The other ones had died. I had um, pretty much stopped spraying them. I just pretty much neglected the sump, and these are the only two that survived. I still have a mangrove on the 24-gallon, but other than that, uh, I think I'm just going to keep these two and uh, just run it like that. So something pretty cool happened to me, and I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who subscribe. And watch my videos. I hit a pretty big milestone. Um, it's a it's a big milestone for me at least. I hit 3,000 subscribers. I'm a little bit over 3,000 subscribers. And I couldn't have done it without you guys. Now I am going to go ahead and run a contest. Uh, this is just a way for me to say thank you to all of you guys. And for those of you that are into reef tanks. I got something for you. Um, I got a couple ideas in my head and I'll go ahead and announce that in a later video because I still got to work out the details. But I plan on maybe uh, contributing 30 bucks towards a uh, coral order and at least uh, that will help you, you know, restock your tank or whatever, help pay for the shipping of something. And, uh, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on. Other than that, guys, um, the second option that I can possibly do is maybe do a $30 gift certificate for either Marine Depot or Bulk Resupply or whoever you, um, prefer. Um, but like I said, we'll see. And I'll work that out and I'll start emailing people and see what's easier. Um, I would actually give stuff away like um, glue or something like that. But when I did the uh, bulk, uh, the BSI glue, I actually used the uh, postal service, and they actually lost several packages going to people. And I had tracking information and everything, so I, I don't think I'll do that again. But anyways, the whole point is just to say thank you to all of you guys. You know, I really appreciate you guys watching and it's been fun having you guys comment and things like that. Also want to give a few shout outs. Uh, first person is DC Reefer, Rad Perez, and my boy uh, who's a U.S. Marine, Eduardo. Uh, they all tagged me on the uh, YouTube questionnaire challenge video that uh, Psychedelic Babe started. Um, I just haven't done it, but... A few of the questions was, do you prefer Reef or, you know, Fowler? And I'm absolutely Reef Tank. You know, the next question was soft or hard corals. And I'm a combination of both. I like softies. I'm starting to venture into SPS. You know, I love the ACANs, the LPS, the SPS, the Anemones. I like it all. I think it's all just awesome like that. My favorite coral is, of course, the uh, Zs and Ps, the Zoas and Pallies. Um, just a total 
crazy amount of uh, color combination that you can get from them. So that's why those are my favorite. And then my uh, favorite fish was most definitely going to be a cowfish. I wish I could keep one um, in this tank, but uh, I'm not even going to try because I don't want to kill it. Uh, my least favorite fish, I don't know. I don't really have a least favorite fish. I love them all, but, you know, the cowfish for sure is the favorite. The least favorite coral is, of course, going to be Xenia. Um, the Xenia is just, it looks cool, but it takes over the tank. And uh, it really doesn't leave a lot of room for the other corals. The next question is homemade or commercial? Uh, I'm going to have to say both. As long as you're not really feeding flake because I don't use a whole lot of flake food. I've been using the pellets and just uh, brine shrimp and mysis. But if I could, I would just have a uh, brine shrimp station just to grow them out. And that way I could feed my uh, fish tank live food. That'd be sweet. The next question was LED T5 or metal highlight? Um, I'm not that old school, so I'm all about the LED and the T5, both. Um, that's currently what I run on my tank, and I really love it. Um, the T5 just makes things grow. Um, it feeds those light-hungry corals, and the LEDs just make everything pop. Um, there's no doubt that uh, LED can can grow cor coral, you know, but uh, just using both of them is just the best of both worlds in my opinion. Now if I could challenge three YouTubers to do the video, um, of course I would uh, challenge CDN Studman or My Little Hobby. I would have to challenge Roman Atwood Vlogs. If you didn't know, uh, Roman Atwood actually has a, a reef tank and it's a pretty badass reef tank. And then finally I would challenge a Vlog After College. Ryan, who's also pretty badass. He's pretty funny. He does all kinds of videos, and uh, I think it would be pretty cool listening to him. Other than that, guys, I pretty much spent the whole day fragging. I was getting some of my tiny frags that have started to grow out. Pit them on some new frag plugs that I picked up from Bulk Resupply. They're the heavy discs. But I already used them all up. I need some more frag plugs. I'm thinking about uh, looking online and, and getting some of those Boston uh, aquaculture frag plugs. Something that's going to be like 100 frag plugs for, you know, cheap. Um, I also need to get some more glue. That My favorite glue is the BSI glue. And with the BSI glue, I actually dumped it in my tank on accident. Um, I do like it because it is foil. Uh, and it's that metal tubing. And uh, it just, if it... It just doesn't soak up water, so which is great. Unlike the, I dropped a couple of plastic bottles in the tank, and then water always ends up going in them, and you pretty much can't use that glue anymore. In my last video, I used a harlequin shrimp. I introduced it to my tank because I had a whole bunch of Astorina starfish, and I've been pulling them out with the tweezers and just making a collection of it. But it's always something in this hobby. You know, whether it's, you know, coral pest, algae, you know, ick or something. It's always something. And I straight up love the hobby. I love uh, reefing and it's all about uh, reef tanks. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys have a good one and kick back today and enjoy the family. And you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.